Hey Doodle Fam, it's Erin here with Miss Molly and her puppies have grown so much since the last time that you guys saw them. Um, they are over three weeks old now. Everybody's eyes are open and they are just getting pretty chunky back here. So we are gonna do a nail check on them and then just kind of tell you about each one of them. So first we're gonna choose orange and he is so dark and really, really pretty. So his front ones are good. Now let's check his back ones. Yeah, we got a little bit of an edge. So we are just taking off the very tips of these with an adult toenail clipper. And good thing is they're used to being handled, but this also will help them when they grow up and they have to go to the real groomer. So that way they are used to their paws being touched and this is one of our boys. <laughs> He's got a little white patch there. Really cute. All right, let's check yours. Those are okay. That one at the edge needs it. So we're just getting that little white part off or close to the white part. Let's check your back ones. Yep, you're good. All right, now we're gonna go to teal. She is a beautiful caramel color. So all of hers needed trimming. And they just need to get used to it because the groomer's gonna do it every time they go to the groomer. I know, it's okay. Molly's doing a lot of investigating. There we go. All right, see? Not too bad, right? Collar check on tan is good. So he is probably our curliest out of everybody. You can see all these S's on their ears and on his forehead. So he's gonna have a lot of texture to him. And his nails do need a little trim. So these guys are really starting to show some personality and they are a fun group. That's it. Hey, that's it. Good job. All right. So we haven't done yellow. She's another one of our big chunky girls. <laughs> and she has got a really, really cute golden face. She's got a shorter snout and long ears, so very golden retriever like. Oh, I smell puppy breath, which is the best. <laughs> People have told me they need to bottle that. I can't say that I think I'd like to wear it, but while it's happening, it's cute. All right. You ready to go back to your brothers and sisters? And we got one more silver or gray. Sometimes I call it gray, sometimes I call it silver. Another really golden face. Look at that short snout, long ears, and it's gonna be a wavy. You can see there's barely any S's, like I don't see any on his forehead. So he'll be a wavy. And some people like curly and some people like wavy which is good that's why we have the possibility of each in our litters so everybody can pick what they want so your nails were perfect not one of them needed trimming so they've done really well with their crinkle sounds they've done really well with their squeaker sounds now we're going to take it up a notch and we are doing the vacuum today and like a high-pitched pot and pan kind of thing like a little dink almost like a little drum. So we're going to start with the vacuum first. We're keeping it farther away since it's the first time and we're going to give it a go. All right, so Miss Blue here, Teal, she definitely perked her head up, but she didn't retreat. We're gonna move it a little closer. This doesn't seem to be phasing anybody. 
We're gonna move it a little over him. All right, got a little squirming out of silver. These two are perking up, they're curious, Molly's curious, but then they just lay back down, which is really great. Okay, Silver probably produced the most stress out of that, but then, I mean, just calm back down really quickly and just found a new spot in the pile. We're gonna move on to a more higher pitch sound. We're gonna do the pattern and my wooden spoon. All right, let's wait for him to set, her to settle down. All right, find your spot. All right, you ready? So definitely a higher pitch sound, but still not much reaction from the sleeping babies. All right, I think we definitely have done enough sounds for today. Molly probably was the most curious of all, and then we had Silver and Teal show a little bit of reaction, but a very quick recovery time. So that is gonna help them with future sounds like thunderstorms or somebody in the kitchen, like if they drop something, you know, with kids. We just wanna make sure that they are able to respond to a stress and then relax. We don't want them to be skittish when they're older. So these guys are done. So now let's go check on Luna's puppies, which are just two days older. All right guys, we have done their personality assessments and now we are going to go work with Langdon. I think these guys have had a lot of sound stimulation and so they are ready for a nap. Hey guys, it's time for a Langdon update. So he is doing much better and is just really opening up in our home. Um, just being a part of this family. We went to our trainer on Friday and Liza gave us a lot of solutions um, and things to work on for that biting behavior and what she called temper tantrums. Um, so they definitely have decreased in magnitude and in frequency, but we're still having them occasionally. So if you put him in a command that is like the down command, he's got sit down pat, so that one's too easy. So if we put him in a down command and he doesn't want to do that, a way for us to be able to get him to perform what we want him to perform is for us to put our hand underneath his collar, twist, and then push down gently. So Liza really emphasized on going slow and then staying above him so that way he knows the respect is coming and that way he's looking to us to lead him. Langdon, come on. Down. Good. Ah. No. No. And so you hold that position until he is done with the little tantrum. No. No. Okay, good boy. All right, so you guys just got to witness one of those tantrums. Hey. No. Okay, um, you guys got to witness that kind of firsthand. So obviously much smaller magnitude than what we were even dealing with just a week ago. Um, and some people might even think that that's just playfulness. 
No. But if we let that continue, that's just gonna grow and grow. So we don't, we wanna nip it in the bud right off the bat. Um, so other things that Liza told us to work on was desensitizing him to um, our hands on his face, his snout, and his paws. So that's really important because we wanna be able to take him to the groomer. We want kids to be able to, or anybody, not even just kids, anybody to be able to be around him touch him, pet him, and we just don't want any type of biting behavior to come out at all. Langdon, down. Good boy. Ah. No. So when we are able to get those things accomplished, it makes us feel so good and it makes him feel good too because he is able to have a great lovable attitude and things are just progressing in the right direction. We're really proud of how far he's come along in just one week. It's been a really fun process and I know it's challenging, but it's something that when you can overcome those type of things, are able to confidently send him to his next family that they are gonna have a great dog. So the next thing we are gonna work on is a stay command. Langdon, Langdon, come. Bed. Good boy. So we're gonna work on that stay command. And what we did with that is uh, did our research on Baxter and Bella. No. And we were able to um, go online, look at those classes, get some advice, and be able to work with him on the stay command. So whether you are working with an old dog, a new dog, a puppy, Baxter and Bella has all those classes and it's so convenient to be able to go back and reference them over and over. So our coupon code is Doodles of NC if you think that it's something that would be good for your family. So Langdon's left me, so we're gonna go get him and work on that stay command next. Langdon, right here. Sit down. Good boy, stay. Release. Good boy. Okay, sit. Down. Good boy. Stay. Release. Good job. Okay, one more time. Sit. Down. No. Good boy. Stay. Release. Good boy. Sit. Good job. Guys, Langdon is doing really good on his first steps of stay. Sit. He's smelling those treats. Good. Good boy. So I hope you guys have a fabulous day and we are going to continue our training and we'll keep giving you guys Langdon updates. Bye.